my boyfriend 30 and I 22nd, 22nd, eh, 22. One time, 20 seconds. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Zula Answers. I am Leah. And I'm Bolin. And today, uh, I'm not Brenda, obviously. <laughs> uh, because Miss Brenda has come out with COVID. And oh no. yeah, unlucky for her. But you know, the show got to go on and we got to film the videos. Because yes. if not, we got no video to upload. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here to replace. I hope you all don't mind. Uh, of course, they won't mind. La. You are the Zula queen. Uh, no. Oh, no, 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 oh, not okay. the same, not the same. Okay. Different, different. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, pardon my voice also because I just recovered from COVID. <laughs> So we yeah, all like your COVID. voice like suddenly soft and high and soft and yeah, high. Yeah, oh. I sound a little bit like uh, like it's okay like ASMR, okay, okay. raspy voice oh, kind. Yeah, correct, correct. So today's topic uh, this one is a bit different uh. Yeah, it's called the Am I the asshole submissions? <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, AKA the Aita, and they are all from Reddit. I am quite excited for all the the submissions there, lah. Hope that you know we will be shocked today. Shocked uh, by yeah, the see. submissions. Yeah. If you guys like us to do more of such specific Reddit threads, mm. like for this one, am I the asshole? There are like more out there on the internet, right? Yes, so yes, yes. if you guys like to change it up a little bit, you let us know in the comments also, okay? That's right. Okay, so let me read the first confession, okay? So number one, am I the asshole for embarrassing my boyfriend when we split the bill at a fancy restaurant? Okay. Okay. This confession, like, macam very long ah. I just say first, okay, everybody. So keep in mind, bear with us. I'm 25. My boyfriend is 35, and we have been together for almost exactly three years. In a funny coincidence, both our birthdays and our anniversary all happened in the same week. This year, we decided he would organize a surprise for my birthday. I would organize a surprise for his birthday, and then for our anniversary, we would go out together for a nice dinner to celebrate. We agreed we would split the cost of the dinner in advance. My birthday did not go well. My boyfriend lied to me about taking taking the day off work and kept disappearing to the bathroom to answer emails and make calls when we were at the museum together. I didn't ask or expect him to take the day off. I'll have been fine doing something in the evening. Then for my present, he gave me a pastry made of a specific ingredient that I'm allergic to. So I couldn't eat it. Then he left at 8pm because he wanted to watch a football game. So I ended up spending my birthday night alone. Oh god. The next day, I told him I felt like he'd given zero thought to my birthday. He just said he's done his best and I need to learn to be grateful when other people try. His birthday went off without any issue. I had specialty food and wine shipped in from his home country. Got his favourite childhood recipes from his grandmother and spent several days preparing a dinner built around his preferences and dietary requirements. He loved it. Then came our anniversary. We agreed in advance to split the bill, but by then I was hoping that he'd offer to cover it. Not because of the money, but as a gesture of apology for how my birthday went. At the end of the dinner, I asked if he still want to split. He replied, Yeah, but it would look weird if we ask for separate checks. Since this is a nice place, so I'll pay here and you can transfer me the money afterwards. Okay. Wow, a bit, a bit. Like very stingy, eh? Like the right... Like a bit weird, lor. like it's like more of a ego thing, may I think. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. Like he like paise, you know, yeah. to like split the check. I honestly saw it when the waitress came over with the bill, I said we'll actually be splitting. She asked how we wanted to split, and I'd say I pay for the wine and my food. So in total I paid for about 70% of the bill. My boyfriend just shrugged and paid for the remaining amount. As soon as we left, he said I humiliated him and acted like a spoiled brat. I said my issue was he hadn't even properly apologized for my birthday or tried to make up for it in any way. Number two, he cared more about the restaurant staff thinking that he was a big spender treating me to a fancy dinner when I'd actually be paying for half of the meal. He said I'm the asshole because we had agreed to split the bill so I had no right to be annoyed about it. Am I the asshole? To break it down is they both want to treat each other to their birthday yeah. and then split the bill mm. but then he fuck up her birthday so she expect him to like kind of cover for yeah. the anniversary. Uh, I think the asshole is definitely not the lady lah. Mm. When, when he say oh, you will pay me after, I can pay mm. first, you just basi me. basically pay now me after. Yeah, pay now me later. Wow, now this one is uh, straight away here, like how, what? No difference ma, like yeah. what's the difference? The difference is what you know, the difference is right, you want to how late na? Mm. At the restaurant ho, wow, the credit card go, then hey, steady steady I pay I pay, it just to for a show la. If today the bill is not being split or like mm. he's the one paying everything or yeah. I think it's quite okay to yeah. to to just pay. But if today we already know, we already say must split already right, yeah. then just let everyone know you split la. Personally I didn't think it was a big issue, like when she said 
she was upset that he offered to like pay first to mm. like not be embarrassed and stuff. Sometimes I was thinking like, how is it embarrassing to a certain extent if you split the bill? Because I cannot uh-huh. understand. Because to me, it's like, if I want to split, then I just split lah. I have friends, right? In a relationship or as a guy or he's like, he's the so-called dominant one in terms of finance. Okay. It's like, I'm the guy. I am the, you know, like a Chinese thinking. Yeah. It's like, you know, the, no, the, 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 means, uh, the, the head of the house. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Understand, understand. So usually the head of the house is like the father, the mm. guy, you know, the husband, you know, the so, boyfriend. Okay, I understand. It's like, must be the one who is like, like, in charge of everything, must be in control. Yeah. I feel that the other thing that he's an asshole about is that, he basically fucked up her birthday. Maybe he went about her birthday, then he didn't realise that he was upsetting her. But later she tell him like, oh, I'm upset about it. Then if yeah. he said apologise or anything, then okay lah. But yeah. in this case, like, she brought it up. She said she's not happy. He never apologised. Instead, he turned around and said that like, oh, but you you are also a bitch because you say that we will split a bill, but you never. Like, you know what I mean, right? I, I don't know why they are still together lah, like honestly. A bit. Fucked up eh. Yeah. This one might be a bit stereotypical lah. Sure. Because the girl is 25 ma. Yeah. The guy is 35, right? Oh. Because of the age gap ma. Usually the guy, right, lost that kind of um, young boy, want to chase girl. Oh, kind of you know I didn't I mean? think about the age eh. Now yeah. that you say it, I'm like, oh, Right yeah. now, because the girl is still 25. The oh, girl she... is still like, oh. hey, why you fuck up my birthday? Why, hey, why we speak okay? Why we equal ma, right? No, but the guy is like, 35 already. Uh, almost 40. I need to work right. to get my millions. Uh, oh. Shut the fuck up. Let me just go and answer my call. You know, that kind of shit. It's like different perception of like a relationship yeah. maybe. Yeah, because I think in this case, maybe the guy is just naturally more practical and like in a sense, he just like, Oh, he doesn't think it's a big deal maybe yeah, to no. him. So he's more concerned about his image since he's like older right. and everything versus yeah. like she's very young. Oh, right. the age thing makes right. sense. When you are a young kid or a young mm. boy, right? 18 to 20 year old boy, right? Yeah. When you have no money, right? The guy have to make sure that the girl happy. Oh. The guy have to go and king. Ma. Yeah. Like other than money, I know money. How how to how okay, do wah, go and wah, put the <laughs> put the flower there, flower here, wah, the balloon now, nah, all you know, all the ideas start coming. Okay. Yeah, but at the age of 35 to 40. Which is basically what she did, what, right? Like, yeah. she really think very deeply about what he would like, but he didn't, he thought like more surface level. But to be honest, not that I don't fault him, it's just maybe mismatch of expectations. Or? Confirm lah. So at the end of the day, is she an asshole? No. Confirm no. I think she's not. Yeah. But I feel that the guy is not that great of a partner to her. Mm. Yeah, so I wouldn't say he's an asshole, but I would say that they are just not meant to be not, together. Not, not, not. <laughs> Tang match la, tang match. Both not asshole la. Yeah. Okay la, he he forget the he okay mess la, up the birthday. Quite asshole la. Quite asshole la. Quite asshole. Quite asshole. Quite asshole. Yeah. But I give you, I give it on a scale of like zero percent to hundred percent asshole. Like, okay, like out of out of five assholes. Out of five assholes. You give the guy how many hole? <laughs> like three point five asshole. Three and a half hole. Three and a half hole. Yeah. Okay, about that. I will I will give around about there, yeah right? around there. All right. So the next confession. Yeah. It's called. Am I the asshole for ruining my wife's work and eating the food before she could take pictures of it? Huh? Yes. Just based on that sentence, yes. <laughs> I go from angry. Really? Uh. Okay, you read first. Wife's you read work first. as in like, like the food. Uh. Maybe you read then you I read first. Uh, huh? mm. I read, okay. My wife runs a website dedicated to cooking <clears throat> and recipes. She takes pictures of food before we eat whether it's lunch or dinner, and post them on her Instagram account. To be honest, I'm annoyed by having to wait so long for her to get the perfect shot. I fucking hate when I go out and eat with my friends, or oh. They say, hey, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Those people you watching, uh, uh, and you're my friend, uh, you know who you are, lah, huh? Wow, I tell you, I, I cannot, I've, okay, anyway. Anyway. Of the food after decorating it. Adding this fork and removing that salad dish. It just takes so long and I lost my appetite from just waiting till she's done. This has become the norm but yesterday, I decided I was having none of it. I came to find that she had cooked an entire feast as her next cooking project and put it on the table. By looking at the whole table setting, I figured pictures had already been taken. But no, she said she was going to take a few more pictures and I had to wait. She went upstairs to get a camera. That's when I grabbed the spoon and started filling my plate from every dish she made and ruining the look as a result. I was hungry and I'm willing to wait around to eat. <laughs> okay, la, but honestly, I'm so triggered right now. They want a bit tea, lah. It's fucking tea, I haven't read the end of the thing. I'm angry. Really. Okay, okay, I read first. I read first. Okay. She came downstairs, saw the damage, and blew up, almost crying, saying, "I just ruined her cooking project that she worked." Hours for hours, 
how was it okay i said i was hungry and couldn't wait but she kept yelling how much of an obnoxious jerk i was for not waiting till she took pictures of the dishes she made even said that this was an attempt to of me to sabotage her success i said oh please enough with these conspiracy theories i'm just hungry and couldn't wait till she got the perfect shot we had a big argument and she went upstairs crying when i returned she threatened that she never have me eat anything she cooks and she said she'd rather throw it in the garbage than give it to an ungrateful obnoxious jerk like me i said this wasn't cool but she told me to go fuck myself <laughs> I said fine and then went to spend the night in the guest room. She texted me the word jerk about 15 times until I turned my phone off. Today she has gone into complete radio silence. Am I the asshole? Yes. I don't even need to say. Get, we are done with this. And moving on. No, I'm, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this person? Okay, la, okay, la, okay. So, you remember just now I said that I, yeah. I hate this kind of thing, it's right? Different context, it's different eh. context. It's actually very different. Yeah. Right? Because this one, right, is like, okay, fuck you. I gonna fucking eat. Yeah. Right? For me, right, I'm like, I fucking hate it, but I still, like, you know, have that, you know, okay, I'll give you the freedom to, okay, just faster take, please, huh? I'm very hungry. Let's say your friend taking a picture of the food, right? Mm. Is she a food blogger? No, yeah. right? Is she just a normal random girl taking pictures of the food? Like, you know, like she, for fun, story. for her Insta stories, right? Uh, if you want to be a tea buyer, hey, faster lah, like, I want to eat already lah. Like, still, okay, still okay, you know? Yeah. In this case, this Miss Ma'am worked like hours for mm. on her freaking meal for her Next website. cooking project. Just because this motherfucker was hungry, right? He took the food and like <laughs> ate it and it was like, too bad, bitch. Okay lah, okay lah. Is la. there no grab delivery? Is it in your house? You know what is in America Post Don't know how to order something to your house instead? Okay, firstly, the wife runs like, you know, the dedicated yeah. cooking website, right? Correct, and correct. recipe website. So, I'm pretty sure it's... I don't know whether it's work work lah. Yeah. Maybe it's... Uh, no, maybe it's just... Even if it's hobby, right? True lah. It's, okay, it's, yeah. it's sort of like a dedicated stuff lah. The project, right? Okay, yeah, what is your hobby? Bit... What is your hobby? Tell me now. Imagine you create NFT. You say you like to game, do game, NFT. Game, game, play game, game. Play game. Play game. Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Okay, he playing Elden Ring now. Imagine he play a game. Then he play on the fucking high level. Then I just damn angry that he don't want to talk to me, right? He go toilet, I go there and kill him and then throw away all his items, reset his entire game. How you feel? You're gonna fucking die, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> In this case, right, mm. if he has been enduring it for so long, he should make an agreement with, like, his wife. Okay, if you're not going to be done in, mm. like, a certain amount of hours or by this time, yeah. right, that kind of thing, then I'm going to order food for myself or, like, let him go and find his own food. It is, that's, that's or, sound fair. That sounds fair. Right, at least you expect, like, this time you have to tell her, like, hey, stop already, stop already. That's like, a logical proposal, lah. Really, what? Hey, you got so hungry, you know? Yeah, he was really he like was it's so all hungry. the years of pent up waiting for the food that this day he just snapped and he was like fuck <laughs> this shit. I'm just gonna purposely eat purposely one. That one is purposely, purposely one. It's, it's not like, hungry. It's purposely one. It's like he he just want to be spiteful. Yeah. I think the part where he's asking am I the asshole also comes from the part where basically his wife used the word jerk about fifteen times until he turned I, his phone off. I think understandable It's la. warranted leh. <laughs> when emotional ma, like when you angry at the, at the heat of the moment, you should yeah. like, This is basically the more version of you. <laughs> you get me? Yeah, 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 basically yeah. that. Basically. I, I feel very, very weird, weird out because this guy uh, can mm. type the whole story out uh, yeah. and still ask, eh, am I the asshole? It's like, is he asking for validation of his actions? Yeah, it's like, sir, uh, uh, he, he you are like, not getting any, but you want to bet that there are people who validate it? There will be. Because Confirm they'll la. be like, she's being too dramatic. Why couldn't she have like, redone it again? You know what I mean? Not as if you like destroyed the whole plate. As women, mm. like we always get a uh, coin that's too emotional, too dramatic, all these kind of things. So you want to bet just now I react like Xiao Ting Tong, right? And then people in the comments, why Leah so like drama? Why she Comment react down that? below. Comment down, do you think I care? <laughs> do you think I care, bitch? Okay, no, I don't. All right? Honestly, right, I don't think so. Like, because you are angry for a reason and the reason is justified. Yeah, yeah, of course. And of you course. mentioned just now that if it's like an IG story, it's okay to eh, faster, mm. faster. Yeah. You already mentioned that already. If people still say you sell ting tong, oh, they are the sell ting tong, you bloody chibai. They are just haters with a capital Yeah, man. H. Although I hate people keep taking photo, take photo, one, but I still have got a bit logic one, okay. Uh, I'm, a bit, I'm very objective <laughs> one. Huh? So out of five holes, this guy, how many holes, right? You read. Oh, uh, it's a 4.5 hole. Sorry, it's a 5 <laughs> for me. I'm not even gonna be kind. Sorry, bitch. I, okay, why, why the half hole? Why, why I left like, what, half hole don't give? Uh? It's because. Feel bad. Uh. What if the guy is really like damn skinny, then fucking <laughs> two day never eat? I'm unlikely. Okay, now, five hole, five hole. 
Okay, okay, okay. Five as hope. You are the five hope. Okay, out of five. Like, you are. What? Did he even say that he never eat for two days? You tell me he never eat for two days. I feel bad lah. Then I will like, oh, okay, like you know, maybe Imagine like. Imagine the one oh. <laughs> keep doing that for like entire entire week. Then he like. Enough for one week. Fuck you. <laughs> then, okay lah. Yeah, la, that one is sure lah. Sure but la. but okay lah. Uh, yeah, you are the fucking asshole. Yes, yeah, correct. You are. Next confession, okay? Am I the asshole for not wanting to work with my girlfriend? Oh, okay. okay. Interesting. I work at a restaurant as a waiter and I really enjoy the atmosphere there. At the restaurant, I made some friends who I enjoy working with. However, my girlfriend never wanted to meet them because she didn't like their vibe. Especially one girl she's envious about, e.g. the way she looks. The people at work are my best friends, but my girlfriend's been insecure about them so I hadn't hung out with them for a few months. As a boyfriend, I would definitely put her above the rest. It's because her being happy with me is more important than me hanging out with my friends. Mm. At least that's how I think about the situation. I asked her if she wanted to meet them sometime, but she refused. I wanted her to see how my friends really were so she wouldn't get any bad vibes from them anymore. Mm. Bracket plan didn't work. Anyways, today she asked me how I would react if she suddenly showed up at the place and joined the team. I told her my honest opinion. I would rather not have that because I want private time with my friends and just want to separate my social life. My friends are all the same ethnicity as I am and we speak in our language a lot, meaning that my girlfriend would not fit in since she's not familiar with the language. My final reason for not wanting to work with her is that I love working by myself. For me, this is a great stress reliever and gives me the opportunity to clear my mind from whatever is going on in my life. If I ever get in a fight with my girlfriend, I wouldn't be able to clear my mind because I would be working with her. This is just the way I want things in my life in the field of socializing. Of course, I love my girlfriend a lot and wouldn't want to hurt her feelings. But I just had to be honest about this. When I told her my honest opinion about work and my friends, she suddenly jumped to the conclusion that I lied about wanting her to meet them because of what I just said, not wanting to mix them in one. That's not all. She also started comparing me to couples in general. She told me that couples would usually like to work together, but for some reason, I didn't. I don't get what is her point in saying this, so can anyone explain? This only made me feel guilty about not wanting to work with her which kind of hurt me in the end. It feels like I don't live up to her expectations. So tell me, am I the asshole for thinking like this or do I have the right to not be willing to mix things up? I just feel based on my initial reaction to this, mm -hmm. right? I don't think the guy is an asshole right. because I personally feel it's okay to have a separate social life from yep. your work life. If you're both, you end up dating at the same working space, right? You wouldn't want to work in the same team. You would want right. to work in like a different team or like a different department right. like that you don't see each other yep. so that at least you won't have like conflict of interest. Actually, not just girlfriend. Like yeah. honestly, right? If because I even uh, friends, I have right? even friends yeah, because same. in a work context, right, there are so many potential conflicts mm. that will happen. It is just something that will break the good vibes of a friendship. Correct, like. correct. Much more, much less. Uh, you know, you are talking about girlfriend, boyfriend. Mm. It's even worse, lah. I think the girl just wants to spend time with him, um, but I don't understand the fun part. She just like made the assumption that she don't like his friends. Is it because like he's spending time with them and not her? I tell you, when a person, or especially your partner, mm. says these kind of things, that means he or she is in the uh, a bit of <coughs> obsessive mode already. <laughs> Whatever you do, he, she, he or she will find fault. Right? It's not about the people anymore. You it's see. just about him. Because it's just about him. He right. don't. She don't want him uh, to have to spend time um, with other girl. I understand. Or like even other friends. Like she yes. don't want him to have a social life. She only want his life to revolve around her. Yeah. Insecure okay, people. Okay. Or, will never admit that they are insecure. Oh, true, true, true. They will true. just say that, oh, I just want to spend more time. I just care more mm. because I love you. Because that one is just an excuse. Because insecure, it's... Yeah. It has something to do with the mindset. Correct, it has something right. to do with your thinking, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is not because you love... If you truly love the person, you will not have all this bullshit. Yeah. I thought at the front, she just like, oh, being a like Xiao bitch, you know what I mean? Like, I don't hang out with my friends. But then now, you say she insecure, then it makes sense why she wants to be at the workplace even though she doesn't want to hang out with her friends. Honestly speaking, right? The guy is definitely... Not... Not an asshole. I agree. Yeah. Mm. And for the girl, right? Not the girl is not, not that the girl is an asshole or what lah, mm. but of course She has to like handle her insecurity. Yeah. She has to be better. So yeah. and but for the guy, right, I think oh, the guy needs to stand his ground more firm mm. a bit lah. Mm. Right now you are too too nice guy already. Yeah. So the girl is like, no, you're nice guys, then what can I can control you? I need to kind control of, your a bit, a bit a bit controlling already, huh? Oh. Yeah. So I think who is the asshole? I think none of them they are none of them are the assholes lah. So uh out of five holes, mm. I will give a uh, no hole. <laughs> the guy got one no already lah, but no hole. <laughs> no. 
Okay, moving on. <laughs> no one is the asshole in this situation. Yeah. Maybe the girlfriend a little bit. I give her like a one upon five. Oh. Yeah, because I feel like she's not letting him make his own decisions for if himself. If this continues, right, mm. they will break up one for yeah. sure. The guy will confirm. She must like. Tangta, wake up, please. Yes. Okay. Last confession. Am I the asshole for reacting negatively to my boyfriend tracking my period? Why? My boyfriend thirty, and I twenty second, twenty second, eh, twenty two. One more time. Twenty second. <laughs> 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 My boyfriend, 30, and I, 22, are long distance and have been since we first met five months ago. Sometimes, I will accidentally make some noise of discomfort or pain when I'm on my period. I try my best to keep this to an absolute minimum because it makes me feel weird to discuss it. There will be times that he would ask if I was okay and I would respond with something along the lines of, yeah, my stomach just hurts a little. And he would press to see why. Uh, not press to see why, right? <laughs> just to <laughs> double check, ah. I can't even talk long distance, I'm going press! No, because when I say that, right, the first image is the hand going under the tooth. <laughs> I dismiss this as concern for my well-being and would tell him as vaguely as possible that it was that time and move on swiftly. Now to tonight. He was obviously in the mood and tried to start something to which I told him that I didn't really want to participate. When, <laughs> <laughs> when press, she shout out. Oh. <laughs> when press, I said briefly that this week wouldn't work for me. But next week should be fine again. This is where he then asked if it was my period and I confirmed. He then asked if my period had been a week early, bracket it had, because normally it's the third week of the month. Now, I don't really care to explain to him that periods don't follow a monthly calendar like that for a multitude of reasons. And honestly, I don't feel that's the point here. But I felt so disgusted in that moment that he knew when my next period was due. I truly felt violated and kind of sick because of the whole scenario. This one a bit harsh. Ah. Like her reaction, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I think it depends, and I'll explain a bit later. Okay. But it might be an ick. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Just something yes, that yes. she cannot. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. I'll admit I didn't react the best. Good that she's self-aware. Instead of answering the question, I demanded to know why he was tracking my cycle without my consent. He said that he wasn't, but it was just that I had told him when I was on my period again and again, and he remembered. Now again, I never purposefully offered him that information. He always asked. I'd confirm briefly, then move on. Oh. So he seems to always have asked her about it. Right. Rather than her being like, Offering the information to a certain extent. Right. I find it hard to believe that he could have been that accurate without an app or something. Especially as they don't always fall on the third week of each month. He told me that he's not a weirdo and I just tried to move the conversation on to a different topic briefly. So please Reddit, tell me if I'm being dramatic or overly sensitive here. I know that this is a completely normal part of being a woman and I dis deal with it just fine by myself. But is it wrong to feel grossed out by him tracking it without my knowledge or consent? So they want the sexy time online? Uh? I would think so. Because if today, right, you're telling me these two uh, individuals, they are in the, at the same in the same country, right? Sometimes the guy wants sexy time. Then maybe he want to track like, okay, when is the ultimate window? They don't want to wear, uh, right? Oh, you get what I mean? Okay. Then they chipai lah. Then they go and count the. They go and count oh, the. Oh, they do uh. Because at the certain after yeah, period, yeah, three certain... day later, uh, within correct, the three correct, day. Correct. Whoa, yeah. Oh, you know what the number? Um, my friend tell me. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. my friend, my friend tell me. If that's the case, right? Yeah. Then I would understand why. But now it's. They're now online, it's right? like online, right? So I don't get it. Why this guy got the guy got so horny? I would say that. I would probably, if I'm the girl, get an ick over this or so because it doesn't sit right with me that someone would be so interested in my cycle. He said he's not checking, but if he always asks, then something is up lah, right? Okay, but honestly, right, there might be a case where the guy ho, mm. is just trying to be nice? sweet and nice. Okay, okay. Some guys, right, mm. they think that to know your to to know beforehand or to track your period, right, it's a bit romantic because uh? I, I take care for of, of for you, you know. I know oh. I, I know this period you'll be moody. So I know really. Oh, sure. I buy you the the you know the warm packs. Uh, I buy okay, you okay. you like something sweet. I know your temper not very good. You know, mm. Maybe he's trying to do that. The guy might come from a like a good intention. Uh. Okay, maybe, maybe. My gut feeling tells mm. me that this girl has a gut feeling that this is also a little bit suspicious. I would say that in a case like this, right, a good thing would be like she clarify with him mm. and which she did and then yeah. he said he's not if he still continues to ask or like pressure her about it or like 
keep like wanting to know information about it, then I think it's a no. There's something something very something odd Something is already. odd about yeah. the situation. So, uh, assholes out of five? Uh, for this lady? Asshole out of five. Uh, uh, okay, la, honestly, right? You're not asshole, la, but I will mm. give a 1.5. 1.5? 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, okay, why? You know why? Because I feel that since you guys are together, ma, I, I just feel that maybe you can give him the benefit of doubt. Mm. That maybe he is really just trying to care for you. You know what she said? No, violated. Gross out. Wow, wow, wow. I feel, relax. La. I can kind of empathize yeah. with a situation, yeah. mainly because... As a girl, if a guy keeps asking me this, I also feel very turned off. I, yeah, I get it. So I think that's from my perspective why I wouldn't call her an asshole. But I would say that if she chooses to instantly reject him, then she's a bit of an asshole. Oh. Like, at least hear him out a bit. I realise that this lady oh, always faster switch topic one. If she is willing to not move the topic and then confront this once and for all, confirm, mm. let, let him explain it, right? Mm. Then I think, yeah, I'll take the asshole back. Mm, okay. So for now, the asshole is pending. Uh. Okay, uh, depending, on, the uh, asshole, de- de- depending on what, what she this, does next. Yeah, then the asshole will either be given to you or I take back. Okay, got it. Okay. Wow, we are done with the wow. Am I the Asshole? So fast. Uh. Yeah, actually, I think this is quite interesting. Very interesting. Eh? The stories are so absurd sometimes. I'm just yeah. like, what the fuck? And some are very much more obviously like mm. the person is an asshole, but yeah. some are a little bit more like on the fence, you can't really tell. Like actually, who some is, is like issue? it's actually both not asshole. Mm. It's just the situation. It's very hard to to have a proper conclusion. Mm. Uh. Got it. Got yeah, it. The period one is really something very different mm. because I would I wouldn't expect to hear such a story from this topic lah. Mm. Am I the asshole? I because my boyfriend tracked my period like. Uh. You'll be yeah. surprised on this chat yeah. what like many things you yeah. never think about. For money be la, to insecurity la, to eat the wife the food la, <laughs> to now. Correct the period. Correct, correct. Yeah, so actually, yeah, wow. Actually, I'm kind of shocked that hey, actually you only got four. I, I, I think I want to... To see more, more. Yes, yes, okay, yes, yes, Okay, yes, yes. future episode, future Steady, episode, Steady. okay? If this episode does well, uh, y'all can send us some links to correct, like... Right, just read it, any, yeah. any scenarios that y'all have seen. The Am I the asshole is for the conference, right? Nah? Not, not us. Not us, ah. So, <laughs> you don't... You, not, you, not up to you to give us the rating for the asshole, ah. So, you better... <laughs> yeah, can you give chance, eh? Uh, you know, just now you hey, you boy so comment la. you okay true yeah, la, true so, la. So comment I, I find before, like. before the video end I you know give hey, a video uh, thank you uh, leh protecting yeah. me no yeah. this is not asshole okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> so if you like it leave a comment down below tell us what you like about it and also remember to like share subscribe and let us know what you want to see on future episodes of Sula Answers bye everybody bye bye